Well, hello out there in YouTube land. Okay, here's another little installment of the axe cover and how it's going along. Yep, okay. You wanna see more? Well, stick around and I'll show you a little bit about it. This is Surviving 2, coming to you with another video. Now, how'd you like that teaser? <laughs> that was pretty good. Well, here it is. Here's the main axe cover now. And I'll show you some video, uh, some video, no, some photos of it right here. I'll flip through some photos of the axe cover real quick for you. All right, now I got it done once and I wasn't happy with it. So I went ahead, it was this front snap was way off centered. And as you watch, if you watch the other videos and everything, you'll see where I made note of it in the videos that I had it messed up. I. I made a bad decision, <laughs> a really bad decision on that thing. And let me get it up here closer. You can see that head and that thing is, I consider pretty nice now. It turned out really good. I put the flat sides of the Chicago screws over out to this side and I put the actual screw heads, the Phillips screws over to this side. And this flat side just went great with this snap right here on this side. It turned out really good. It turned out really nice. So yeah, and it, as far as the coloring and all, it, it matched up fairly well with this. It's a little bit redder, but not too bad and it holds itself on there really well. So it snaps on real, real nice and tight and I can't, no, I can, there is no pulling that cover off. That cover is not coming off of there. So yeah, that thing is on there tight. It's just the beard and all on the ax is just right to hold it on there. And when I redid this thing, I took and the grooves that are up here, I didn't cut them as deep as the first one I did. And it made this a lot better. It made this actually a lot better. So it worked out really nice. And it, the whole thing turned out a lot better. And when I, when I cut these, I was actually using the welt as the template to cut the outer and the other two pieces of leather. I would lay it down on the two pieces of leather and I first cut the two pieces of leather bigger than what they needed to be. And I would use the welt to kind of like sleeve it and uh, shim it or chisel it right down next to the welt and it, it cut it right even with it and it did great so it all turned out really nice it turned it out really nice and then when I put it all back together and everything let's see if I can get it up there yeah with that sun you should be able to see down in there it it turned out really nice down in there I put the 
I put the dye way down into there and everything and I put uh, mink oil and all on it and did all that and all the texture and everything on it you can see with that sun yeah it did really good on it it did a nice job on that cover and then once I got the right <laughs> I went back up to Tandy and I was not a happy camper because they didn't give me the part that I needed to set this snap with the set that I they gave me and I was not happy and the guy said take it take it take it take it go <laughs> he knew they did wrong <laughs> so I got that set and I actually set it right there with them and everything right on to the right on to the axe cover and he was like yeah that that's it that's perfect that's good and he said yeah yeah it looks good so that's a nice cover and I was like yep I know it <laughs> so that all worked out good now the last thing I got to do to this thing is take and sharpen it I got to take uh, my Japanese stones and take and draw, draw some nice uh, edges on it and get this thing fairly sharp. I don't have to get it really, really sharp. I don't want it razor cut and sharp, but I want it uh, working sharp. It's pretty sharp right now. When I, when I hit it earlier that first time, in the videos, uh, I'll probably put a link up here when I hit it that first time, that first video. Yeah, I got it pretty sharp. But uh, I want to get it a little bit sharper and take some of the, the nicks that that sharpening put into it out. So that way it's a little, little bit smoother. I can, I can feel it a little bit, especially when I take it and run it across my nail like that yeah it kind of <laughs> I want to get that out of there make it a little better so anyway that's it and what it looks like now so like I say the next part will be sharpening and that should be the end of the axe project so We'll see y'all on the next one. Until then, y'all take care. Later. Be safe out there. Later. I want to thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more in the future that I put out, just subscribe. Until then, later.